decent ROI generally yeah, CS medium placement is usually structure is also very nicely laid out so you won't feel a lot of like tens attention or a lot of mm. pressure on you mm. whereas the other branches are quite heavy Yeah, you have an example of yeah bro i i say in electrical engineering and i had to go for therapy for 3 months to get over <laughs> Uh, CS in VIT, but then in the last round I got chemical engineering at which Goa and. Okay, but then after that we were thinking that okay, we might choose an eco or maybe we might go in first year. We were going in computer science, so that's always a dilemma. But then there are certain demerits of the degree as well. So can you talk about the demerits of the degree? What is the negative things about the degree? So. Everybody talks about various colleges, but people don't talk about the branches in a college. most people end up hating the branch that they studying in college almost 95% of people suffocate because of they don't the fact that they don't like the subjects that they studying in college which is why we have brought together a bunch of amazing people who i interviewed in the past they talk about the various branch experiences what they learned what are the opportunities that they got if you are someone who is preparing for bitsat 2024 and you wish to ace bitsat 2024 we have got these amazing mentors and we have started a group of amazing bitsat aspirants so that we can come together and we can ace bitsat together and in this community you will get access to amazing mentors some of the people that you see in the video will also be there in the group you will be able to interact with them understand the process understand how to go about bitsat 2024 you'll get access to practice questions and mentorship and mock test series and what not this is only for a limited number of people we are capping it to 100 people at the moment But let's see what happens. What is a dual degree like? What is the difference between a single degree and dual degree? So basically, uh, based on your BITSAT score, when you give the entrance exam, uh, you get uh, you fill that allotment form, right? Preference form. In that, you have two options. One is that you can directly enter the uh, you can fill the single degree, which is electronics or uh, computer science or civil, mechanical or manufacturing. In the case of Pelani, uh, not it's not in uh, Goa campus, but yeah. Now what happens is the other option which you have is a dual degree. As he mentioned, the five names. Generally, what happens is if your score is lesser, but you want to get into bits, bits are score less, but you have to choose that bits, like premium college, you have to study. So you still have that option that you, in preference, you are going down to the lower side. And uh, when you uh, get allotted that branch, so you are you enter college as a uh, say in my case, MSc chemistry student. Now uh, when in, based on your first year CGPA. you are allotted uh, your be degree the other dual degree which is in my case computer science there are some who get allotted say mechanical engineering with uh, say at the entry entrance time they had uh, got allotted suppose biological sciences so this is the comb- unique combination of which that helps you give both um, ms in chemistry msc in the science degree and a bachelor's in the engineering degree so yeah that's a uh, basic gist about the dual degree scheme over here so like i was quite sure that i don't want to go towards the it side like okay. the coding side yeah. so uh, if you had that in mind so i think there is not any problem because all the options are open for you if you want to come in core if you want to go into non core mm. and if you want to try the finance side mm. so those options are also open and basically the course structure is also very nicely laid out so mm. you won't feel a lot of like tense attention or a lot of mm. pressure on you mm. whereas the other branches are quite heavy yeah you have an example of yeah bro i i say in electrical engineering and i had to go for therapy for 3 months to get over <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so i think yeah we'll make a detailed video about electrical engineering as well so don't worry <laughs> but yeah to talk about more about mechanical so what was your courses like how 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 was your entire courses in second year and third year did you enjoy the courses and did you learn about mechanical mechanical like yeah okay, okay. so the second year courses um the second year if i talk about was a uh, quite similar to like my je experience okay. you had fluid mechanics yeah. you had materials and um, you had some all those concepts we study torsion mm. tension mm. all those you are applying to different different questions mm. equations like nothing that practical but mm. yeah also practical if you talk about applied yeah. thermodynamics mm. so it's there's are all the basic concepts and which are going to be used when you are going to study some more uh higher subjects more focused subjects mm. 
so if i talk about my third year third year had those subjects which were applied subjects mm. like basically engine motors and mobility mm. which teach you about all the machine parts and cars and how mm. the autom- automobile works and then primo was in fluid mechanics which ta- ta- talks about all the dams all the steam engines and mm. the all uh, big machines mm. and uh, so basically all those concepts which were taught were used in this mm. and uh, so uh, 3 1 and 3 2 you have cad computer design which through which helps you in designing and all those stuff so the course structure is nicely laid out and uh, you will feel you'll feel that yeah you have learned something good worthwhile yeah, yeah. and i don't know if you guys follow the news but there are companies like nvidia which are booming almost in an exponential rate because AI is the future and we see tools like ChatGPT and half a dozen other AI tools which came and they just completely changed the way we work right and behind all those AI tools and everything behind that there are chips which are manufactured by these very electronics companies the companies like Nvidia they massive GPUs at scale and because of that their revenues have multiplied like i don't know like almost 10x over last year i'm not very sure the data but this because of this their market cap has increased almost twice or thrice i mean nvidia last year it its market cap was around 650 billion now it is crossed a trillion dollar market cap i think that is insanely amazing because not there are very very less number of companies which are into chip manufacturing and if you are very very passionate about electronics you definitely have a chance of making big bucks So hi guys we have Shriram with us Shriram is a finally a chemical engineering student Shriram is not just a chemical engineering student he's been going PhD Purdue. student at Purdue and he has got an admit from Columbia as well so i think there'll be very few people to guide you as well as Shriram can do so Shriram do you want to give an intro to yourself man yeah so hi guys my name is Shriram Joshi i'm as he said a finally a chemical engineering student uh, like i didn't hope to get into bits because uh it was like around 6 or around 5 and i had not got my admit and i had already joined vit for cs i'm do i was doing v, uh, cs in vit but then in the last round i got chemical engineering at wits goa and then uh, so the reason why i chose to switch from vit to here was that i had a lot of guidance at home because i have a few relatives who are in the chemical engineering domain uh so that was like my main reason that i have support at home i i I'll, i'll have good guidance in this field yep. that is why i decided to switch as well as good like i i feel the peers are better here yeah uh, they are they are so my bachelor's score was 370 out of 450 i think the scale has changed right now so yeah. Yeah, you will have to compare with the cut off then uh and then j main i had 99.56 And advanced, I had a rank of five thousand forty-five. Yeah, and then why did you choose Bits Goa? Why you had other options like IIT and you know like other good NITs in computer science? Why did you choose Bits Goa? I mean, like if I had a better J advanced rank, a rank of I don't know if two thousand or something, I might have chosen IIT Patna CS or something like that. Uh, I didn't have that. Uh, and then so my major options were Bits, NITs, uh, or you know non CS electrical branches at IIT. And I was like I wanted cash, so I wanted CS. <laughs> so it was. Uh, not that hard a choice because bits had better placements in NIT than it also had the brand value of you know being bits planning yeah. it's go out but yeah. brackets or, yeah yeah Yeah, yeah, and the thing is, when and the advantage of being in bits is that you get the element network of other four other campuses, like you know, like Dubai, Hyderabad, Pilani, and Goa. Dubai, Dubai, <laughs> Dubai, first priority. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Like, yeah, yeah it's better than that. Yeah. But otherwise, I think overall, I think it's a pretty great experience we had last four years, and we had five years still. We have no reason to like you know praise bits because we'll be graduating in like a month, so we have like. You don't need to like. Did we trace it that way? Yeah, I think. I think we, 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 we did trace it. it, but then we are being completely honest and genuine. Yeah, and it's, it's not like bits over IITs or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody will do that. It's our genuine, honest feedback from our last. Yeah, audience. this is pretty good. Like, worth the fees for you? Yeah, I think yeah. In terms of ROI, definitely. In terms of CS people, they get a decent ROI. Generally. Yeah, the CS median placement are usually twenty five lakhs. About twenty five. So you get yes, a yes, yes. good ROI. So that in that way it helps. What else? I think that's it guys thank you so much for watching do subscribe to the channel and if you do like it share it with your friends as well thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching